Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about medical grade skincare and is it better than regular skincare? Um, really quick, I've got a new Patreon. That is Matt. So I gave him Matt the Moose, which he's also Canadian. So I think Canadian Moose, Canadian Mice. What is the plural for moose? Mooses? Mice. Moose. I don't know. <laughs> Cameraman's no help. What is the plural for moose? I guess that is moose. the plural. plural. Yeah. I guess kind of like bear. Bears? Deer? Deers? Moose? Mice? Moose? Stop. So, okay. I'm stopping before I really embarrass myself, but I'm really good at embarrassing myself. Okay. I'm going to stack him right there. Okay. Medical grade skincare. So I get asked about this a lot. Is medical grade skincare better for your skin than regular skincare? Many skincare brands want you to believe that if something is more expensive than another product, that it is better. If it's more expensive, it's better. So if you want better skin, spend more money. But to be honest, it's really marketing. It's another thing like some people believe natural is better. Uh, other brands want you to believe that medical is better. And to be honest, it really couldn't be further from the truth because medical grade skincare, it's just a marketing term. And ironically, there's really no regulations on this. Uh, there's no regulation on what can be sold and advertised as medical grade skincare or dermaceuticals, things like that. There's no regulation for it. So a lot of these brands just... Uh, decided to market the, their brands differently by being sold through estheticians or through a dermatologist office. And then people go along and think that it's medical grade because it's more expensive, but a lot of times they're more expensive because generally if they're sold through a dermatologist or an esthetician, uh, they have to pay them a commission. So, Or if they're sold through specific websites. So there's no regulations on it whatsoever. So SkinCeuticals, it's no different of a brand than Geek and Gorgeous. I mean, they're just two different brands with two different types of philosophy and products. Um, the only thing that really matters in skincare is the ingredients and the percentage of those ingredients and the formula and how they work together. Medical grade is just marketing. That's it. Uh, and to be honest, you don't need to spend a lot of money to have great skin. Uh, the things you need for good skin, they aren't expensive. A good sunscreen, that is number one, the key. A gentle cleanser, retinol if you're over 25, and occasional use of an exfoliant, as well as a good fragrance-free moisturizer. That is what you need, generally, that will help the most people get good skin. Sunscreen cleanser, those are going to be two huge things. Sunscreen, obviously, the only anti-aging product that exists is sunscreen, so... Do yourself a favor, if you don't use sunscreen every day, start using it today. Right now, today. Don't leave the house without sunscreen, SPF 30 or higher. That is what you need to get good skin. And there's a lot of sunscreens. Uh, there's a Verdeo sunscreen, it's less than $10 that I love. Very effective, SPF 50. Uh, gentle cleansers. Uh, Jelly Joker from Geek and Gorgeous, I think is $11. Uh, a good retinol, Versed. Or the Good Molecules Gentle Retinol Cream is $8. And a good exfoliant used a couple times a week. Um, Geek and Gorgeous just came out with their exfoliant that I think is $11 or $12. And um, so that's what you need to have good skin. Medical grade doesn't mean anything. The one thing I will say about medical grade skincare brands, sometimes they do have uh, the possibility and ability to do more research, such as SkinCeuticals with their vitamin C. They did do some great research. They have a trademark. They're making their money on it. Or if you think about Skin Medica and their research and uh, amount of products with epidermal growth factors and the research on human fibroblast condition media, sometimes they are able to do more research and bring more innovative products out. But generally, they make their money back by trademarking it. Like SkinCeuticals, you don't think they've made their money back at $160 a bottle. I think they've made their money back. So uh, so typically, medical grade or dermaceuticals, just an excuse to charge more um, and have estheticians recommend their products. Um, personally, in my opinion, the only medical grade skincare that exists is prescription skincare, such as prescription uh, vitamin A retinoids or prescription azelaic acid or prescription antibiotics. 
Accutane, things like that. In my opinion, that is what should be considered medical grade skincare, things that are prescription. So don't get lost in the marketing because generally more money on a skincare product does not mean it's going to be better for your skin. There's a lot of more affordable products that are going to be better than anything that's more expensive. The Ordinary Buffet, I think it's like nine, 10 bucks, 11, 12 bucks is one of the best products out there. And it can fight down almost any great Skin Medica product. So don't get lost in the hype. Don't get lost in thinking that prices equal quality because it doesn't matter. You don't need to spend a lot of money to have good skin. You can spend a lot of money and still have good skin, or you can be like a crazy skincare act like me and try everything new that comes out. But it doesn't necessarily mean anything because you can have a good budget. You can probably spend $60 a year on a good sunscreen cleanser, retinol moisturizer, and still have good skin. So don't get lost in the hype. Do your research. Come up with your own opinion. If there's a SkinCeuticals or a Skin Medica product that you believe is better and works better for you, all means go for it. I don't, I'm not going to judge, but I still just want people to know money doesn't equal anything. Just because an esthetician recommends it doesn't mean it's going to be better. Sure, there are some SkinCeutical products that are amazing and Skin Medica and what other... Uh, medical grade skincare brands. There's that Neo, there's Obashi, everything. But there's always going to be another good alternative that's very affordable out there. So anyway, everything comes down to marketing and sales with skincare. So little of it is regulated. So that's also a good thing to know. I did that video about that wash on sunscreen and I had so many people comment, well, how did the FDA, why did they approve this? And I was surprised because I'm like, well, I don't think the FDA probably even knows this exists. And if they did know it exists, I have a feeling they'd probably be coming down hard on this company. So a lot of people are under the impression that the FDA regulates all of this, especially sunscreen. And they are so far removed. I think the FDA Cosmetic Regulation Board has less than 25 employees. So the fact for 25 people to be monitoring all of these products, there's so little of it that really goes on. It's mind boggling. So... Anyway, do your research, come up with your own opinion. If something works for you, great. If not, there's something probably more affordable that would probably work just as good. So anyway, those are my thoughts on it. I'm interested in hearing your guys' thoughts, comments, questions. Definitely leave them below. Uh, love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.